from a station working for you. This is a WRTV update. I'm WRTV's Nicole Griffin and these are your latest headlines. A man investigators are calling a serial rapist has been arrested. Investigators say 37 year old Daryl Goodlow broke into at least six homes across Indianapolis and Lawrence attacking eight different women. The victims range in age from 58 to 77. Investigators believe Goodlow posed as a utility worker to get into at least one of the homes. During several of the assaults, police say the suspect used a knife and tied up the victims. Investigators believe he specifically targeted vulnerable women. I hope this arrest uh, helps our uh, vulnerable population in Marion County sleep more peacefully at night. And I'm referring to our grandmothers, our moms, our daughters. And I just, I, I'm so grateful for the hard work of all the people behind me that are going to lead to that. Goodloe now faces 57 charges. Police say their big break in this case came in February. Crime technicians at the scene of a rape found a cigarette butt. Investigators were then able to match that DNA to DNA from several other rape cases. In vaccine news, Johnson & Johnson says a booster dose of its COVID-19 shot offers stronger prote protection against the virus. Right now, J&J's COVID-19 vaccine is a one-dose shot. The company says an extra dose given two months or six months after the initial shot provides increased protection. The Associated Press reports that the results have, haven't yet been published or vetted by other scientists. It is not clear when the FDA will review the Johnson & Johnson vaccine for a potential booster dose. Here's your weather headline, Nicole. One to three inches of rainfall through Thursday morning. Let me show you how the rain expands overnight into Wednesday. One o'clock in the morning, widespread rain. There we are at four. Widespread rain heavy at times. You'll wake up to rain and temperatures in the 50s, and that's where they stay all day tomorrow. Kevin, thank you. Stay on top of the very latest news anytime by downloading the WRTV mobile app. We're also available 24-7 across all popular streaming devices, including Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, and Android TV.